Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. If you'd like to gather around. The judges have reviewed the submissions. I'm assured carefully, closely and with great concentration. And have reached their decision. So without further ado, I'm going to hand you straight over. Good morning. Well done for getting up. Some of you are looking iller than others, so you might be even better. Um, the uh, third prize, as I've been told, start from three, I was this right one, is for the My GP group. have uh, picked them is uh, we think the whole concept of being able to easily get in touch with your GP and remind them that uh, they might have some test results for you as a start for something bigger is, uh, is actually quite useful and an essential way to get so, well done guys, did a lot of work in a very short space of time. Yeah. Okay, I get to announce number two, working up in, you know, keep the suspense as far as we possibly can. And um, number two, if I can remember what it was called, um, goes to Health Stage. <laughs> and, uh, we, we chose this one because this is a man who knows which end of a soldering iron is which. <laughs> more importantly, because with the proliferation of low-cost sensors that can be deployed both in the environment and in the patient's own home, the availability of an open, low-cost platform we think has tremendous potential for, for further development. So, well done. Thank you very Thank much. You. left me to announce first place, so congratulations to Beacon. The um, reason we chose it was we felt the simplicity of the idea. Quite often people, um, when call emergency service out, have to be aware where they are exactly, and we think there's lots of options to add on to it, develop it, and evolve it, and it was a great working model, so congratulations. <laughs> Trophy and say what the health, and we're going to uh, it's going to um, tweak it. Uh, we think uh, that was a great idea. Um, try to encourage yourself to, to stay fit uh, using social media and, and a sort of a, a platform reminder system is definitely something that's going to have legs. Um, so if someone can come along to pick up the spinal trophy. <laughs> Tell us what happened next. Oh, we are we are around. If people want to chat to us about why or what our thoughts Selection were, criteria please let us know. We are around. Yeah. We'll have to have to discuss. Why? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much to all of our judges. Can we get a big round of applause, please? <laughs> and. Uh, I suppose the first order of business, for those who have won prizes as well as trophies, we'll be sorting those out with you privately afterwards. Uh, just don't want you carrying around that much cash, really. Um, as always, um, the Hack Chairs by Hackathon can't happen without the um, involvement and efforts of 
a large number of people. Um, most important of all are our sponsors, without whom this absolutely would not happen. Um, so I'd like to say a huge thank you, as ever, to KPMG as the primary event sponsor. Thank you. And no less a thanks to our prize sponsors, medtech.je, the co-op, and KPMG again. A special thank you to uh, Aura Capital, who sponsored our travel subsidies for the first time. A bit of an experiment for us to see if we can help uh, breach the uh, somewhat insular nature of Jersey by getting people over from uh, other locations. So thank you very much. Um, final thank you, of course, goes to Digital Jersey for the use of their facilities and to Matt and Robbie and Charles, who is absent, and anybody else who has been involved in, in helping out, carrying, printing t-shirts, uh, and all of the other myriad little tasks that, that go on to uh, make this event what it is. Um, I will bring this to a close very quickly, because I don't know about you, but I'm absolutely shattered. Um, we will be holding... Yeah, okay. <laughs> We will be holding the fourth HackJSY Hackathon in March of next year. Uh, we're going to confirm a date and a topic just as soon as we can. So um, the last thing that I would like to say, as always, to all of you who came along and made this weekend what it was, thank you very much. A hackathon doesn't work without people to hack along. And look forward to seeing you in six months, if not before. Thank you.